Finally, let's do a dreaded word problem. Okay, and it's so dreaded it's even about tax. The taxman says that you must pay tax at a flat rate of 20% of your total earnings if you earn more than 50,000 Rand per year. Otherwise, you pay tax of 15%. If you earn 3,500 in the first month of the year and thereafter for every subsequent month of the year your salary increases by 5% um, of the previous month's salary, how much tax um, to pay? Well, I suppose it should say how much tax, tax do you pay? Okay, so let's have a look. Obviously, I must go and work out my annual my annual salary and if I work out my annual salary there's going to be two possibilities either it's going to be more than 50,000 Rand and then I'll pay 20% tax or it's going to be less than 50,000 Rand and then I'm going to pay 15% tax which now means what I need to go and do is calculate my annual salary. Once I have my annual salary, let's say my annual salary is X, I'm either going to multiply X with 20%, that's 20 over 100, to calculate my tax, or I'm going to take X and I'm going to multiply it with 15%, in other words, 15 over 100. So, how am I going to calculate my annual salary? Well, my annual salary is just what do I earn in January plus February plus March plus April all the way up to December. Okay, and they didn't say we started in mid-January, but no problem assuming it. As long as you remember, this is my first month, my second month, my third month, all the way up to my twelfth month. So, what is my annual salary? Well, in the first month I earned 3,500 Rand. In my second month, I must take that salary and multiply it with 5% because they told me that, for, um, that every month of the year, your salary increases by 5%. So, instead of just earning 3,500, the next month I'm going to earn 3,500 plus another 5%. So I'm getting 100% of my previous salary plus another 5% increase. So my salary increases with, not with, but uh, uh, to 100% of what it, 105% of what it used to be. So 105% over 100 because we're working with percent. And now in the next month, now I'm in March. In the next month, I take the previous month's salary and multiply it again with with a five percent increase. So that's three thousand five hundred one zero five over one hundred. Okay, this is what I earned last month. In the new month, I must again multiply with this bracket over one hundred. Okay, because I've got the increase twice now, but it's just going to be easier to write it as this squared plus and this is going to go on for 12 months so what do we notice we notice that every term in this series because this is a series I'm summing up terms <coughs> every term in this series is being multiplied with a certain ratio which means this is a geometric series and the thing I'm multiplying with is 105 over 100, which means this is my first term, and that is my constant ratio. Now, with that in mind, I can very easily go and calculate it. Calculate S12. Why S12? The sum of the first 12 terms, in this case, terms represents months, so the sum of the first 12 months can be given by A1 minus Rn over 1 minus R. Okay, so let's do our stock taking. What do I have? 
I've got my first term is 3500. I've got my constant ratio is 105%. Um, and I've got my n, which the number of terms is going to be 12 terms. So when I substitute all of this, I get 3500 in A. 1 minus R is now um, this. I'm just going to write it simply as 1, 0,5. Okay, 1, 0,5 to the power of 12 divided by 1 minus 1, 0,5. And let's see, what answer do we get? So taking my calculator, 1 minus 1.05 to the power of 12 times 3500 is equal to divided by and in brackets 1 minus 1.05 close my brackets what do we get 55700 and nine fifty five thousand seven hundred and nine and let's not forsake our commas uh, our decimal digits nine four two eight okay let's keep a few of them nine four two eight and it goes on why aren't I um, rounding because we always only round in our answer so how much tax will I pay Obviously, we can see this is now more than the 50,000. So the bracket, I'm actually now going to pay on this side of the scale 20%. So I leave that answer on my calculator and I just calculate 20% times 20 divided by 100. And that gives me an answer of 11,141. And now I can round and you see it actually rounds beautifully to 11,141 rand and 99 cents. 11,141 rand and 99 cents. There we go. Quite a challenging question, but if you break it down, it's actually not that bad.